Hi guys, I'm Yinky and I welcome you to another interesting and educative tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to make an off-shoulder busted dress in this video. So you're going to learn how to make this without a pattern. So I'll be drafting it on the fabric itself. So you don't need a pattern to do this. So it's a very, very simple and fast method that I want to show you today. So this is what I have made. And these are the measurements that you need to be able to make this. So you can pause this and study the measurement on the screen. So you can just put in your own measurement and you'll be able to make smart and beautiful one for yourself. So let's get started. So I have my fabric and... This is how I'm going to fold it. You can see it fold with both circumference divided by 4 plus 2.5 inches sewing allowance. So that's how you're going to fold. I first of all fold into 2. Then later, you're going to fold the zipper allowance. That means we are first of all drafting the back pattern. So we are drafting, I'm sorry, no pattern. We are first of all drafting the back block. So let this one, the one inch, you're going to take one inch here and it will serve as your boundary. So that's where you, you're going to, this is the waistline. So this will serve as the waistline, the half length. So then you're going to go ahead, take the, this is the zipper allowance. That's two inches that I took. You can take one and a half, it depends on you. So that's my zipper allowance that I just folded. So it has been folded into two, then I now fold into two again to get my zipper allowance. So I take my measurement right away. So. The measurement is by the side you can see this is 16 inches half length so the 16 inches half length then from there i will take 13.5 inches on the bus that's the on the bus length when you place the tape measure on the shoulder then you get 10 inches breast point when you place the tape measure on the shoulder and from there from the boss point i take two inches upward and that will serve as my upper chest so you can see it's a very simple way so then I, I I'm going to just label this bust under bust just right on the fabric. Then from there I take the neck depth. The neck depth is 5.5. Neck depth 5.5 will be okay. It won't show the bust. It won't reveal the bust. But if you want the bust to be revealed, you can bring it down to six or 6.5 or seven. So afterwards, the next thing to do is to take the neck width. The neck width is 10 inches for the front from the measurement. So I have divided by two will give me five because it is on fold for the front and, and for the back. We have five, then half inch sewing allowance will be added to it. You can take it on a straight line like so. First of all, take it on a straight line, 5.5. Then you raise it up by one inch to maintain a coffee neckline shape. So to just make it bend that kind of um, neckline that you see on um, Bustier that makes it very beautiful. So then this is the neck width already. So then I'll just, I added that half inch to, to be able to attach the sleeve. If you can get it, this, this neckline will be connected to the upper chest. Then you have the ammo. So here we input the measurement. So both circumference divided by four, which is nine inches plus two inches sewing allowance. So I have 11 on the bust. I have 11 and a half on the upper chest. Then on the half length, 30 divided by 4 will give me 7 and a half. 7 and a half plus 2 inches sewing allowance will give me 9 and a half. And I will also put 9 and a half on the waist also. So we have input our measurement. So it's as simple as that. So because we have, we also have 10, 30 inches on the half length. That's why it's 30, 30 on the half length and the under bust. So I'll just connect the upper chest to the neckline like so. So I have my arm O. So the off shoulder ammo is drawn like this yes so when you measure it just make sure it's up to seven inches or seven and a half inches thereabouts so that the the, the ammo will not be tight so then from there I, i'm going to input the nipple to nipple measurement is what i will input now which is seven seven divided by two will give me 3.5 then i had 0 0.5 sewing allowance so i have four inches on fold four inches i will input four inches all through through to the neckline i will input four inches so you can draw that with a straight line so after i have gotten that with a straight line this remember we are still 
drafting the back. So what I am doing here, you can still get do it on your pattern paper and it does not matter. You are still drafting. So you can do it. The only difference is that I'm making this on the fabric. So that point that I just make in, on the upper shares is where the that will stop. So I will just input a waist that. So my back bodies is ready. The back block is ready right now. Then I notch the zipper allowance. I notch the 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 that intake so i can take that of half a inch on both sides of the dart leg and so this back will now be placed on another ankara fabric you can use any fabric for this i have folded the ankara fabric into two as you can see i have folded it into two because this is the front i want to cut the front right now and the front must be on fold so i folded into two then i place it like so so i'm going to just trace out the back um, uh, the, what I'm using, what I'm doing here is just I'm uh, um, using the back to trace out the front. So don't forget, we are done with the back. So everything I'm doing here is just for the front. So on both sides of the dart leg, mark up one, one inch on both sides here at this point, like so. Then you can go ahead and um, trace out all the lines. Don't forget that. One, one inch that I marked on both sides of the dark leg on the neckline. Don't forget it. So then trace out all the under bust line, half length line, and the bust line. Trace it out. Then you can take off your back block. So I can take off my back block when I'm done with the tracing. So put it in mind. The one inch that allowance that would take here on the neckline that that one inch on both sides makes two inches together so after that you take three quarter inch up here and three quarter inch down here then you're going to connect that one inch to the three quarter to avoid pointed edge that's the essence of that on the bust line then you take one inch on both sides here also one one inch making two inches that intake one one inch here also one inch making two inches that intake all together, connect it with a straight line. You can see I'm just using the free hand. So when you are when you are when you are used to the free hand, your hand will be as straight as a ruler. So don't mind me. So I'll just connect it like so. I'm forming the bust here. The bust here is what I'm forming right away. So I will just connect this one inch here also on this side. I'll connect it to the three quarter of an inch that we make here. Then we are forming our bust here. So you can see how beautiful it is. So the that intake is what i'm replacing here so i calculated everything and it's getting up to two and a half inches like so there about so i'm replacing like two and a half inches here. i just want to put that half in sewing allowance so so i'm replacing this sewing allowance here also i have measured the that intake on the neckline also i replaced it on the side of the um, sleeve so you're going to place your back like so to trace out the hammer so the former ammo that is on the back, so I will trace it out on the front like so. So I'll be going on a short break right now and I will be back in a minute. So stay tuned. Do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just a few weeks? Then what are you waiting for? Enroll at Yinki Kuto Academy today. Our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. For inquiries, please call 0805-794-4477 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Couture. Yinki Couture, home of dressmaking techniques. So go ahead and cut out the dart intake right away. So just cut it carefully like so. You just follow the chalk pattern. Then the neckline like this. So when I get here, you can see where I place my hand, where I just traced out. You really need that part because that's the extension of your neckline. Then you need it on the, the side block, on the side panel. So I'll just cut it out carefully like so because I'm going to retrace this out on the side panel, on the front side panel. So I'll measure whatever is there. That's the, that that's what make your neck neckline, neck 
width complete. I hope you get that. So I will just place it here to be able to just draft out um, a perfect neckline. So I will just place it here and trace it out. So at this point, at this point, hope you have subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, and give us a thumbs up on this video if you love this video and share it to your friends and families. And so you're going to extend the drafting to the boss point like so you can see how I just connect it to the boss point carefully and uh, trace out the extension of the neckline to the arm O. This is the arm O. This is where the sleeve will be attached to. This is where the sleeve will be attached. That's an off shoulder. So here now, I hope you can see it clearly. I can continue the cutting like so and um, we are almost done we are almost done you can see it's very simple and easy so the next thing to do right now is to cut out the that intake here on the waist remove it totally so we are almost done you can see how beautiful it is so i can place it on each other like so because when i'm sewing it this is how i'm going to open it up and sew it so they must match each other so this is what we have the center front is on fold. Don't forget. And we have the two side panel. We have the back. And you can notch out your dart and take the waist dart. You can put a waist dart and let it stop on the upper chest there where I just put chalk. And um, it's as simple as ABC. So if you if you if you really want to make a bossier dress, you can use this method. It's very fast and quick. So this is the back. This is the back. You just cut your lining the same way. Just cut your lining the same way. And if you are not a beginner, you should be able to turn your neckline, turn the side, take your dart, and you are good to go. Put wording, put any interfacing that can make the bust area to stand firm, and you are good to go. But I also have videos that can help you do the sewing on my channel. So this is what I have done. This is the sewing. This is the result. You can see the cup area is well formed, very beautiful. This is the back. So I can just go ahead and uh, place my back on the front and input the measurement like so. So we have almost come to the end of the tutorial and you can see it's what I said. You can see that it's true, that this method is very fast, simple and quick. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. And give us a thumbs up on this video. Like and also share this video. I love you. Stay connected to Yinki Culture Academy. Bye for now.